Okay. What you doing? What you doing, girl? Wow, she bit my leg. <laughs> This is Daphne, 24 hours a day, just super excited, just non-stop. She's now six months old and there's one issue that I seem to not be able to get past with her and it's, she's tinkling on the floor and she doesn't even realize she's doing it. And it's kind of getting really aggravating because I, I don't know how to stop it. She doesn't know that she's even doing it. I've even, you know, it happens all throughout the day. If you're gone for more than like 30 minutes from her, she does this. So in the morning when I wake her up out of her kennel, basically, I don't even say one word to her. I don't even say good morning or anything because I don't want to make it worse where she's tingling more. I basically open her kennel and she follows me outside and I can't even put her uh, leash on in the garage or in the house because she'll tinkle because just the excitement of me putting her leash on. So I just let her go out in the grass because I know she's not gonna run off because the first thing that she does is go and tinkle as soon as we get outside and I'm able to put her leash on to go throughout the yard, you know, and use the bathroom the rest of the way. So, like per se, if I have to leave for like an hour or even a half hour, if she does it, and I come back, and she's not even in her kennel, she's like in my husband's office, I let her out, and the first thing she does is gets really excited and tinkles, and again, I'm not saying, hi, I missed you, yada, 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 getting all excited, making her, initiating her to do this so I tried to just be calm and get her outside the first thing she could have he could have just let her out to go to the bathroom and she still does this so does anybody have any ideas on how to get her to stop doing this I'm about to go buy some pull-ups <laughs> and put them on her because the tinkling is getting so bad where it's just you know it's staining the carpet even with our even with our steam cleaner. And then if she tinkles on the hardwoods, she gets it all in her tail because she's wagging her tail in it. And it's just coming a, it's coming a nuisance. So if anybody has any ideas on how to stop tinkling, I, I'd really, really appreciate it. <laughs> really would. I've actually, I've looked all over the internet, just says, you know, be calm, you know, don't grow out of it. You come when you enter, you know, meet them first thing in the morning or first thing after being gone for a while, which I do, I completely do. I've tried everything that I could possibly find on the internet. And it's just, she's still doing it. And I don't know when she's going to grow out of it. She's six months old now, so I really hope she grows out of it because my mom, my mom was telling me about my aunt's dog. She had a, a Pomeranian and... Yeah, Pomeranian, and the dog did it for its whole life. Like, it just tinkled all over the place, so, because she got super excited. So, I hope Daphne's not going to be like that, because she pees way more than a Pomeranian. <laughs> By far, she probably pees more than I do, and that's a lot. So, do you guys hear these dang frogs? And I actually really like it. The pond is full of cattails, actually dead cattails, reeds. We have these black birds, black birds with red wings, that's what they're called. <laughs> and they're the ones that are making that screeching noise. And then the frogs and crickets and stuff, it's actually really relaxing. But it's actually kind of chilly out here, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my jacket. It's been almost in the 70s for the past couple of days. And then this darn cold front's coming through where it just dropped the temperature within two hours down in the 40s. It's like day and night here. Oh, chilly. Like I'm out here and my hands are starting to get cold. So 
so, but of course it doesn't bother Daphne. She could be out in like 10 degree weather and she don't care. She, we, we were out the other day when it was kind of warm two days ago and she gets overheated, so. We don't have ACs in our house in New York. I don't know if you guys know that. Maybe 10% out of the houses here have ACs, AC units. And when I moved up here from Florida, that was like, what? You guys don't have ACs in your house? Because that's like, <laughs> in Florida, you have to have AC, you know, you die. So we have four window units that go in the house. You know, we put one, well, we just moved in here. So we we're gonna have to get an, we're gonna have to get another AC because my daughter's room is right here. And all she has is the sliding door, as you can see. And this is my bedroom right here which has a window on the other side. So all she has is this, so I'm gonna have to get like a portable, like roll around AC for hers. And then my son has like three windows in his room. He doesn't have the sliding door, so. And then we have the downstairs bedroom, which is an actual like office, a basement office, because we don't use it for a, a bedroom. So we're probably gonna, we're gonna need like five ACs in here. Because this house is huge. It's almost 3,000 square foot. So, anyways, I thought that I'd tell you, share that story with you. But it's starting to get dark out now and it's pretty chilly, so I'm going to probably head in. But I just wanted to get on here and just ask those questions about the tinkling issue, the pee pee, pee, -pee pants issue. <laughs> That's what I call them, it's pee pee pants. <laughs> but uh, if anybody has any ideas on how to stop it, or if not, maybe I should just go get some pull-ups, but she'd probably just chew them off. So she's probably wondering, what the heck is this thing, you know? So, cause she chews everything. She's even got all her adult teeth in and she still chews like everything up. Look, there's the, there's the Frisbee, the dang Frisbee from PetSmart. Look at her trying to get it up. And it's even flipped where she, you know what I mean? Like where it should be the easier way to get it up, but no, she was able to get it up, but the blue one, I actually put up because it just aggravates the crap out of her so but those frisbees stink man the one I don't I never buy it I just go to five below and get her toys I think that's the best thing I got her right there and then her little boomerang which she tore up but because it was cloth and man she loves that thing you go say hi I've been talking about your tinkling issue I've been talking about your tinkly issue all right, guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. And please feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We upload uh, very often, so a couple times a week, sometimes more than that. About Daphne and other little creatures in the yard. And, and of course, uh, Daisy, my kitty cat. So, hope everybody's having a good evening. And thank you for watching. Bye.